Welcome to This is Arlington, Arlington High School's student-produced television show. I'm Jack Perry. And I'm Aspen Bailey. Let's take a look at our top story. Arlington's varsity cheer team attended nationals in Orlando, Florida. They competed in a very tough division and were one of four teams out of the 55 they competed against to go straight to finals. The cheer team hit their routine both days and placed ninth out of 55 in the finals. Make sure to congratulate our cheer team and wish them good luck for next season. Seniors, the FAFSA and the Tennessee Promise deadline is quickly approaching. March 1st is the last day to get these important documents submitted. If you need any assistance moving forward, sign Ms. Chisholm's book in the counselor's office. Each month on This is Arlington, we spotlight one of our school's many clubs and organizations. Here to introduce our next report is Brent Lines. Thanks, Jack. Out of all the clubs here at Arlington, there's one that has the biggest heart. Tiger Life reporter Paul West takes a closer look at our very own Best Buddies. Welcome to the club appreciation section of this week's This is Arlington. The club we're going to look at today is the Best Buddies. The best buddies come in and uh, spend time with, uh, these are general ed kids, like yourself, general ed children, students who come in and work with uh, special needs kids at, on different, uh, different days and times. Uh. And they will come in during stripes time and hang out with them, play games or help them learn and do lessons. Um, we also have outside parties that we do like once a month. They have so much fun dancing and eating and hanging out. Um, we have some buddies that are actually really, really, really good and they get together and go to movies and dinner and go get their nails done or go fishing for some of the guys. So. Everybody, I've never known a person who's come down here and done it and not want to come back and do it again. I've never seen anybody do it. They all want to keep coming back because, you know, the kids, these kids we got, they're happy. And you, and you look at them and you go, how could some of these kids be happy in the condition they're in? But they are. I recommend this club to anybody um, and everybody. I think it's really good. I think. It teaches you how to be more understanding and compassionate. Um, I think we as people just need to be more accepting of others. Yeah, I do. Just to watch the kids be happy. You know, our kids enjoy their time with the, with the kids from general ed. I love Best Buddies. <laughs> it's my favorite. Seeing my kids so, so happy. It's my favorite. Go see Miss Mai. Sign up. Write your name down. Right. And come on. I would tell them to come see me and apply. <laughs> um, we go through an interview process just because our kids are matched up one-on-one. -on -one. We want to make sure who they're going to be with. They're pretty uh, highly motivated to join, so not just you know willy-nilly involved. We want a deeper connection. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Along with Corinna Shearsand, this is Paul West recording for AHS Tiger Life. Have you ever wondered what Arlington thinks? Well, we asked a few students, and now you get to figure out what Arlington does think. All right, which way is more, a pound of feathers or a pound of bricks? A pound of feathers. Pound of, uh, they weigh the same. They weigh the same. They're both a pound. A pound of what? Dude, they're the same. Okay. They both weigh a pound. Yeah. If you're in a race and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? This is easy. Second place. Second mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. I know there's a I second place in the game. If, if you're in a race and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? You're in second. If I pass the person second? Yeah. Second. Can you spell that? I know. I never learned. That's okay. I don't have to say you're in first place there. You're in second place. What goes up and down but remains in the same place? Stairs. Oh, wait. Mm. Mm. Wait, I heard the, yeah, this guy. Nice. An elevator. Stairs. Elevator. Stairs. Still an elevator. All right. <laughs> elevator. <laughs> Stairs. I, I mean, elevator. Oh. If your mom has four kids, north, south, and east, what's the name of the fourth kid? It's got to be West, bro. Uh, you're the fourth kid. Yeah. So like direct, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know, like Todd or something. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna go with a, uh, I'm gonna go with Doctor Turner. It's actually you, because your mom has four kids. My name's not you. It is not. So uh, well now you get to see what Arlington. 
Maybe next time we'll catch you and find out what you think. Alongside Donnie White, I'm Blake Lee, reporting for AHS Tiger Life. Thank you, Blake, for that report. Now it's time to head over to reporter Justin Byers, who will take us to Pop Culture Corner. Thanks, Aspen. Welcome to Pop Culture Corner, where we bring you a look inside entertainment. I took to the halls to quiz how much students knew about music. But first, here's our fashion segment, Drip or Skip, from Dominic Ramos and Bailey Henderson. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Bailey Henderson. I'm Dominic Ramos. And today we will be discussing two upcoming collabs. One, the North Face and the Cause collection. And the second one, the V-Lone and Young Boy. The first collaboration we're starting with is V-Lone and NBA Youngboy. They have a total of 39 products ranging from sweatshirts, shirts, ski masks, sweatpants, and sweatshirts. Um, they're ranging from at least I think it was originally the prices were like 200 to 500 but now some of it is on sale and it's going I think what two to two. four mm -hmm. I think it is now so I guess that's a sale. The ski masks have sold out and so have the blankets, so I guess there are some serious young boy fans willing to drop that amount of money on them. Just not me. Mm -hmm. They have this v loan and the hoodie one. It looks cool, but 250 is a little bit pricey for me, especially like Bailey said, I'm not gonna wear it daily. I'm not, I'm giving it a skip for me. Yeah, it's definitely a skip. Don't come for me, young boy fans, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but um, it's a skip. It's not what I thought it would be. It could have been much better, um, especially because v is such a trendy, trendy. up-to-date um, company line, mm -hmm. but this just did not do what I needed it to do. Nope. And for our second uh, collaboration, it's going to be with Cause and North Face. I think this collaboration is going to sell out I quickly. I think this collaboration is one of the best in a while. Um, like, he, like he said, Cause is not everywhere. People, a lot of people aren't as aware of it. But the people that are and the people that do kind of stay up to date with, you know, like fashion and that kind of stuff, they know what cause is, they know what it's about, and North Face is known um. everywhere. And so for them, for cause to get that kind of exposure with North Face, I think is, is going to be great. Like, it's definitely a drip for me. Um, I definitely cop from it. Me too. The goal of all of this. That's a drip. That's what you call drip. <laughs> I definitely give it a drip. Like these two X's, those are like. That's their logo. That's yeah. like. And I like so, how they're like right across That's what I'm saying. From like Carl's X, North Face, like that, nice. they did it. I'm Bailey Henderson. I'm Dominic Ramos. And thank you again for watching episode four of Drip or Skip. Let us know if you think either the Cause and North Face collection or the Young Boy or Velo collection was drip or skip. What was the first music video played on MTV? Um, do I have to guess? Uh, a One Direction music video. Smash Mouth. Happy by... Okay, I forgot who was by. It was something by the Beatles, probably. All you need is love. No idea. What type of music did Elvis Presley make? Oh, that's country and rock. Rock music? Country music. Um, blues and jazz. Rock. Blues. Blues. What was Michael Jackson the king of? Pop. 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 When did the Beatles break up? I'm gonna guess 1970. 1712. Mm, 1965. 72. 72. What country singer was known as the Man in Black? Johnny Cash. The Man in the in Black. Johnny Cash. 
no idea. Yes. What was the best selling rap album of all time? Hmm. We're gonna go Kanye's Jesus album. I don't know, Lil Nas X. Um, D2 by August D. Uh, White Mysteries, The Man, The Myth, The Mystery. Thank you, Justin. Valentine's Day may have passed, but love is still in the air at Arlington High School. Reporter Landon Chris and editor Jake Brown bring us a special report about Arlington's teachers and their pets. Hi, my name is Landon, and welcome back to Arlington Animals. Today we'll be looking at teachers' wonderful pets. Aspen, what are you going to be up to this spring break? I think I'm going to go to the beach with some friends uh, in Navarre. So I'm excited for that, but I'm also a little bit nervous because last time I fell asleep on the beach and I do not want to get sunburned like that again. <laughs> what are you planning on doing? Uh, you know, I plan on just working, getting that money up, uh, saving up for college and stuff like that. That's smart. I'll be spending all my money, which will not be great. <laughs> That's all we have for today on This is Arlington. Join us next time with more stories from Arlington High School and the community. Be sure to check our monthly debate show, Tiger Clash, and other Tiger Life content on our YouTube page, AHS Tiger Life. Have a great day.